This video is sponsored by AppMaker. AppMaker is a WordPress plugin that converts WooCommerce websites to mobile apps. The mobile app builder helps you create native Android and iOS applications. Get 30% off by being first 200 sign up. Get the link in the description. Hey everyone, welcome back to another video of Educate WordPress. On this channel, we talk everything about WordPress. And today, we're going to see how we can use the call to action widget. Call to action widget basically adds an image, a title, some info, along with a button to our WordPress website. Let's see how we can use it. Go to your website and click on edit with Elementor and let's get started. Call to action is an Elementor Pro feature. So you're going to need Elementor Pro for this. Elementor Pro will be linked in the description. You can buy the plugin from the website. Choose your plan. Complete your purchase and install the plugin. Now let's add the widget. So as you can see, this is the call to action widget. Here we have an image, a heading, some information and a button. You can check the skin as classic or cover so the image becomes the background let's choose an image and this is the position this is left above and right we can change the content from here and change the button text from here you can also add a dynamic tag such as post title but we're not going to do that you can add a dynamic link as well and you can add a ribbon as you can see this is the ribbon let's see what styles we can apply we can apply the height The side looks good. You can change the alignment. You can also change the vertical position. You can change the image width and height. Let's change the typography.
and you can change the colors from here and the ribbon let's change the color of the ribbon so now the ribbon is more visible you can change the distance as well let's add a box shadow So as you can see, it's a little more visible right now. You can even add hover effects from here. Like for example, this is zoom in. So as you can see, this is zoom out. And you can add an overlay color, but we're not going to do that overlay color basically adds an overlay to the image now let's add another section but this time this will going to be a, a call to action with cover skin Let's change the image. And change the button text and we're going to remove the ribbon let's go to style Go to hover effects So as you can see This animation looks good You can add sequence animation as well So everything starts up at the same time Let's add an overlay color So it's looking pretty good. You can even add CSS filters such as blur, brightness, contrast and saturation. Now that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. Like if you find this video useful and subscribe. Thank you.